Robotic surgery has been around for a long time. Really, it enables us surgeons to do much more precise procedures. The instruments have like 540 degree um, wristed articulation. You can get uh, 10 times the magnification. So with improved visualization, access, and dexterity, we can do amazing type surgeries. Patients who would traditionally not be considered a laparoscopic or minimally invasive surgery, and this has changed the way that we operate and do surgery nowadays. Some of the most common um, procedures um, or indications for robotic surgery include, one, painful menstrual cycles. Um, so um, they may require um, over-the-counter medications throughout their menstrual cycle or sometimes prescription medications. Um, secondly, patients may have heavy menstrual cycles where they're requiring double protections, um, double protection. Um, and then another uh, benign indication would be for uterine fibroids. So typically um, for a straightforward hysterectomy um, that's performed robotically, those patients go home, they spend one night in the hospital and go home the next day. And their recovery time is also half that of an open um, or exploratory laparotomy. So typically I tell patients about two to three weeks recovery. Depends on their baseline status when they come in. If they're in good overall health and condition, they usually bounce back um, honestly within seven to ten days. The incisions are about the width of my thumb for my um, hysterectomies. I usually have about four of those, sometimes five depending on the anticipated complexity of the surgery. UAB Hospital offers a multitude of different types of surgery surgeons' abilities, whether it's um, from benign surgeries to more complicated cancer surgeries or urologic surgeries with respect to GYN surgery. Um, and so we all work very well together. We m Many of us have trained together, and I can usually anticipate what they're going to do next and think. So um, it's a very dynamic team um, that works very well together. So I um, had a very fortunate um, experience to work with a patient who had very large symptomatic um, uterine fibroids, and she knew that she was bothered by it and it was um, challenging for her to keep up with her son and to do activities with him and um, she knew it was time to do something about it so we did a robotic hysterectomy for her and now she feels amazing. She has the energy that she did not used to have. She can run out and play with her son. She had to require iron supplementation because of her anemia from her heavy and long menstrual cycles and now she doesn't um, and, and life is so much better for her.